we are at <coughs> Six Mile Creek between that bike bridge and this other bridge thing right here. And we're going to fish for everything that's here. That's right. Nothing will escape our wrath. This spot is on and off. Sometimes you get everything. Other times you get absolutely nothing. Hopefully we have one of those everything days here. So let's get it. I already have my minnow bait in the minnow trap in the water. Hopefully, I know there's some minnows here. Um, hopefully, I can actually get whatever is here some gato fish, hopefully, and some bass. Let's see how it goes. Got my baits in the water a worm and a hot dog. So uh, I'm going to start off jigging because even though it's a creek, the current seems pretty non existent here. So I think jigging a small minnow uh, might actually work. Plus, I want to try this out before I start casting other stuff. Really hope the minnow trap actually produces. Yeah, the bobber's not really moving. So uh, hopefully this actually produces a fish. I do expect the activity not to really pick up until around dusk for the most part. But like I said, the current is pretty non-existent. So maybe we'll have some luck jigging here and perhaps even under the bridge. All right, the jigging didn't work. So uh, we've switched over to the curly tailed grub because last time I tried a curly tailed grub here, it was the only thing that actually netted me a fish. This time, however, it might have netted me on a rock. Nope, I got it loose. So we're going to try to toss the curly tailed grub for a while. This is a pretty big curly tailed grub, so hopefully a bass will bite. I might actually switch over to the chatterbait in a while, but we will see. The water, even though it's rained a little bit in the last week, it's still much lower here than it usually is. And that actually might be part of the problem, that the fish aren't here yet. Maybe after the rains next week, it'll actually be better, if there are rains next week. Swap the position of the hot dog and the worm, and something definitely tried to eat the worm under the bridge. I just don't know what it was. So it's definitely not a like a catfish or a pike, because they would have eaten the hot dog as well. But something definitely tried to devour my worm under the bridge. I just don't really know what it was. Something else hit my big line again. Yeah, it's a fish. Oh, I think it's another drum. Man, you know, the time you come here to fish really does matter. Matters a lot. Cause like I didn't get a hit for hours and now I got two drum. Pretty sure this isn't the same one. Two drum within like five minutes. They starting to hit well. They definitely starting to hit well. Another freshwater drum. Another freshwater drum. All right, drum, see ya. Honestly, dude, I've been here for s several hours and I couldn't get a, I couldn't buy a hit, but now it seems like things are actually hitting on the poles. So uh, hopefully this turns up and I can get something else besides freshwater drum because things are starting to come alive now. There is some crab fish over there that keeps biting my bait but never hooking. And I hate crab fish that bites my bait and never hooks. I think it's too small to hook like even my number four hook because it just keeps on like tapping the bait and then not hooking. Like the drum, as you can see, can actually take a, a pretty big hook. So it doesn't sound like a drum. Hopefully it'll actually bite my smaller hook and then it'll get hooked and I'll know what that crab fish is. You know, when I say shit fish and they actually bite, they don't, they're not actually that small. I think they're just toying around with me. This does feel smaller than the other two I bought. What is that? Is that a bullhead gato fish? I think that's a gigantic bullhead gato fish. Yeah, I think so. That is a gigantic bullhead gato fish. Interesting. That's like as big as a channel. Look at the size of that bullhead. It is a gigantic bullhead gato fish. Man, that's insane. I've never caught one that, well, maybe I have, but that is hugely fat. I got to get a weight on that one. I definitely got to get a weight on that one. Bullhead gato fish. Check this out, man. I thought this was a channel catfish at first, but this is a 1.6 pound bullhead gato fish. 1.6, more than one and a half, by far my personal best PB bullhead. I think I might actually have another one on the line over there. All right, 1.68 PB bullhead. All right, giant bullhead, see ya. And it gatos off. Well, that was a blast catching an over 1.5 bullhead. By far my personal best bullhead. That might have been the only bullhead there though, because nothing else is actually biting if I'm throwing it there. 
that might have been the one fish that was trying to take all my bait. And the bite has really slowed down elsewhere too, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll get a bite from a much bigger fish soon. Something bit this pole again. I think it's probably another drum. It is fighting pretty hard, but I think it's a drum. Because the last two have been drums out there. This one's fighting exactly like those two. Could be something different though. It is a little darker now. Not still another freshwater drum. I am very tempted to cut one of these up for cut bait. So I don't have any cut bait right now, but I don't want to kill these drums and they didn't like gut hook. So there's no real reason for me to kill them. But anyways, another freshy drum, freshwater drum. These aren't small and they're really fat if you actually look at their uh, stomach. So there must be gorging on the minnows here, which means there are minnows here, which is really pissy because they're not actually um, going in my minnow trap and I actually need some minnows. All right, see you drum. Seems like this creek is full of drums coming up from Mendota. I think this is only about half a mile, quarter of a mile up from Mendota. But uh, hopefully there's bigger fish that have actually come up from the lake. I'm actually very disappointed today that the white bass haven't actually come yet. I wanted to catch one of those. I tried all sorts of jigs um, and I couldn't get a white bass. I also do believe white bass will bottom bite worms. Um, because, uh, yeah, because I've had their cousins, the yellow bass, bite them, bi uh, bottom bite the worms all the time. So I'm guessing white bass do as well. And I've actually caught them on like worms and stuff as well. So, but none of them have actually bitten any of my baits yet. So I don't think they're here. And I actually did try jigging with them with like several baits and nothing actually took those baits, unfortunately. Something bit my shrimp. I think it's another drum because I actually have caught drum on, nope. It is a bullhead gato fish. These, all these bullhead gato fish are pretty ginormous. Yeah, they're bigger than the ones at Cherokee. I don't think this one's quite as big as the other one, but dang, man, these things are enormous. Bull, yeah, this one actually might be heavier than the other one, but I think it's slightly smaller. But it is, look at the size of this gato fish. Can you tell me that's not a big lesser gato fish? Look at the stomach. It's freaking huge. Bullhead gato fish, a really big one, again. All the bullheads here are freaking giant. Look at that stomach. Look at this bullhead. It's a little smaller than the other one. It's only uh, 1.3. The other one was 1.6, but it's giant. These are much bigger than the ones at Cherokee. Man, if you want to catch a personal best bullhead and you don't want to go to Beaver Dam, this is the place to go, Six Mile Creek. All right, giant bullhead, see ya. Something semi-heavy just bit. It's feeling like another bullhead, but it is feeling pretty heavy. Oh, I think it's bigger. Yeah, it is a bullhead, I think. It's feeling a lot like one. Yeah, it's a huge bullhead. Dang, man, these bull, that, I don't know which one of these bullheads is the biggest. I do not know which one of these bullheads is the biggest, but it's another gigantic bullhead. Man, these are, these, these feel so heavy on the rod. Another big bullhead gato fish. I think it's still smaller than the first one, but look at the size of these bullheads. Just like, look at this. Look at the size of these bullheads. Just like absolutely insane. These are all easily, easily one pound plus bullheads. Check out the size of that fish. Bullhead gato fish. Another huge bullhead. See ya bullhead. I think I missed by far the biggest fish of the day. It hooked, it jumped, which means it was not a bullhead. And then it threw my hook. Don't really know what it was. It bit the worm, so it could have been a carp as well, and I see some big fish activity over there. So my baits are over there. Hopefully I get a big fish. These big bullheads are fun, but they're bullheads, so you know, you know how that goes. Well, that was a fun adventure. I'm back home now. And, um, you know, I didn't really catch much else today except a couple of drum and several bullhead lesser catfish. But the thing about the gutterfish is that... Um, you know, I really don't like catching bullheads usually, but catching one pound ones is okay. I mean, they, they have a little bit of a tug, a little bit of a fight, although still not all that much. And I was hoping to catch a two pound plus one, but the biggest one I caught was 1.68. Every one I caught today was over a pound, the smallest being at 1.24 and the biggest one at being 1.68, with an average around 1.5. I didn't show all the captures on video. I probably caught like six or seven of them. 
a couple of them after dark. I did get one big bite off a uh, off a fish. I don't know what it was. It jumped and it threw the hook. I actually have seen channels jump once they've actually get hooked. So it could have been a channel. Other than that, it was a really big bass. Sad that it got away, but I still had a lot of fun. So if you actually want to catch like bullhead catfish, because I know they're, people say they're good for eating. I don't really know. I've never actually ate one. And you want big ones. Six Mile Creek is better than Cherokee Marsh because the bullheads at Six Mile Creek are significantly bigger than Cherokee Marsh. The only other place in southern Wisconsin that I know that you can get bullheads of that size is Beaver Dam. And uh, Six Mile Creek has very few snags, whereas Beaver Dam is full of snags. And plus, if you live in Madison, Beaver Dam is like almost an hour away. So that is, uh, you know, some good eating right there. One thing about bullhead catfish is like the, how they taste depends on the water quality where they're actually living. So if you catch a couple of big bullhead biggins from there, uh, you should just put them in a tank with like really good water, cycle all, all, all their crap out for a few days, and then they'll taste a lot better. So a good eaten bullhead gutlefish and, uh, you know, drums there. I know white bass are there a lot of the time, but they just weren't there that uh, the day I went, which is like yesterday. And also um, there are some largemouth there. Last time I went, I did get a largemouth and channels do come through there every once in a while. Carp were spawning across the uh, bridge on the lily pad. So they were, <coughs> they were not actually biting. So uh, the fish action was limited to drums and bullhead catfish. I think there were a few very tiny smallies under the bridge. So that's the that's the, today's adventure. Let me know what you think and like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventure.